Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of surface area. This is standard 7.9D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a rectangular prism and we have it in a net. So typically we're used to a rectangular prism kind of looking like this, right? It's three dimensional. We've kind of got some dotted lines to kind of represent what's happening uh, in the hidden portions. But imagine that it's made out of uh, cardboard or like a cereal bar box. You took a box cutter and you just opened it and laid it flat. And that's what we're going to get right here. So you've got six faces, and you've got uh, on the rectangular prism, and you've got six faces or six rectangles shown here. So we're looking for the total surface area. And remember, area that does not equal volume. So we're not looking for cubes that go inside. We're literally looking for area. And area, right, is base times height. So I've got six different faces. So all I need to do is find the area of these six different rectangles, add them up, and I've got my total surface area. So it's not super complicated. One thing I can do to make it a little bit easier is I can realize that as a rectangular prism, opposite faces are going to be congruent. So imagine we're putting this up and we're kind of folding right here and right here. And we're kind of uh, bringing those sides in, making it stand up. And this, this big chunk down here kind of folds up and stands up, and even that part folds over the top. You're going to start matching up some sides, and you realize, hey, this big rectangle is the same as this big rectangle. So all I need to do is find one, and then double it, and I'll have both. These little guys, these almost look like tabs hanging out to the side. Those two are congruent. And then this one right here, this top one, I'm just going to put a little hash mark because those two are equal. So I only really need to find three rectangles. So let's start with this little hash one right here. So area of my first, I'll put a one right there, put a one right there, is base times height. And that is just seven times three. See, not that difficult. We don't even have any decimals here. 21 inches squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double that simply because I know there are two of them. So that one's 21 and that one's 21. And so that's going to make 42 because I'm going to end up needing to add all of these up. So 42 inches squared for these two rectangles that are one. Let's do these two big ones right here. So the area of the second big one, also base times height. And you don't necessarily see any measurements right on there, but you can tell, all right, so this big base right here matches with that seven, just like the other one. The height, you have to bring, come over to the side. Let's see, that's a five, so seven times five, 35 inches squared, we're going to double that, and that's 70 inches squared. All right, so two down, one to go. So these two guys are 70 right here. And it's just these little tabs sitting over here. I'm going to put a little three right here. And they already give you the base and height, three and five. Base times height, three times five, so that's 15 square inches. Let's double that. So I've got my 30 inches squared. And so I'm only adding up three numbers because I kept doubling since they're matching. But let's just add them up. That's going to be 2. 7 and 3 is 10. Add the 4. It's 14. So I've got 142 square inches. And that answer is H.